Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am so excited. We are gonna go to Target. I'm gonna film a little bit of a shop with me. I'll try to keep it short because I actually ended up buying quite a bit and I also wanna include that in here. So it's kind of like seeing what is new and exciting at Target. We're gonna go over all the new drugstore makeup that is there because there is tons of new launches right now and I found a lot of it at Target. A lot of it is at Ulta too, but I did a previous Ulta video which I will link down below and I also checked out their clothing section and they had some super cute stuff and some very trendy pieces that are probably gonna sell out pretty soon um, so I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible I did film this on Thursday so all of this stuff is very recent and you should be able to find a lot of these in your stores as well and a lot of this is also online so I will share links down below we actually have a lot of fun clothing videos coming this week because it is the Nordstrom anniversary sale week. So also let me know. I was thinking maybe tomorrow I could film my wish list if you want to see that. Otherwise, I was just going to go ahead and do my haul on Friday with all of that stuff as well. So it's going to be a really fun week of, you know, makeup and clothes. So lots planned. Um, I know Bath & Body Works has their fall floor set tomorrow. So I was thinking if I wanted to do a video on that. But I think there's going to be a lot of shop with me's up tomorrow. So I might skip that for now and just wait until I can do an order pickup with my fall goods and then I'll do that haul. So just a little update of what is to come. And yes, I will have another declutter, not today because I did not get one done this weekend, but it will be probably this week or this weekend. We will see. But anyways, enough with that. Let's get into the shop with me portion of the video. So walking in, the first thing I saw in the makeup section was all the new e.l.f. collection, the Electric Collection, Electric Mood. They had a new mascara. They had a few different collabs. Like this is in collaboration with Tavlo. This is the actual palette with Tiana Major 9. So that's like the big seller. A couple other just like duos and stuff I just quickly went over. There's like a little oil primer as well. And then there's some like cream blush and like little eyeshadow duos so lots in this collection available um, in Target and also I think on elf's website and then this collection is the new wet and wild wild crush I was so excited to see this in stores I think it is so cute there's like honey cherry uh, in love with the cocoa and also the passion fruit one and they all have like a palette a um, primer there's like a face spray and like a lip set so it has like a little bit of everything and of course it's wet and wild so everything's really inexpensive this is the little cherry palette and these are all scented too which is awesome i ended up picking up a few things which you guys will see a closer look at the end but this is just adorable i've so far only seen this at target instead of any other retailers and then this is the new pro gloss plump from l'oreal so it's supposed to be a plumping lip gloss from them as well as i think some new shades in their matte liquid lips and revlon also has these satin ink liquid lips as well which said new so i figured i would share now we'll get into the clothing there's actually a lot of cute stuff we're starting with the knox rose brand they always have some really fun items i really like their style it's just very boho there is these adorable little kimono size I had to share so cute here's another little dress I just love how flowy and fun everything is and then I spotted this tie-dye I was gonna buy this but I don't know I have so much tie-dye but I love the color of this one I'll see if I can link it there's a sweatshirt and also a pair of like lounge shorts but I just the yellow with the pink and blue is so cute cute to me. We have here this adorable little top. I think this was uh, in the A New Day brand maybe. Just the regular Target line. There's this plaid. I'm seeing a lot of ruffles right now so that must be very trendy. And lots of sweatshirt sets like the sweatshirts with the matching pants in tons of different colors. And then over here I found this really cute satin tie top. This one is selling out like crazy so if you're wanting it I would grab it. It is adorable. I don't know if it'll work for me if you are of chest it might not be the best because it does cut you off right there but so cute with the skirts love this little peace and love t-shirt was pretty cute and then this Brooklyn tie-dye sweatshirt has been going crazy on Instagram as you can see my store only has two left it is super super comfortable and oversized it looks perfect for fall and winter and then they have these adorable little dresses I love the crochet detail on them they always have some really cute ones for like 
end of summer, beginning of fall. There's also like a pinky one as well in that same pattern. And I really liked this gray kind of jacket. I thought this would go with a lot of outfits for fall. Moving on to graphics, we have a new Baby Yoda one. They always have different Baby Yoda stuff. I thought that one was cute with the floral. And this Nirvana oversized tee is kind of popular on Instagram. So I feel like that one's going to sell out pretty quick. Just kind of a fun one. Lots of band tees. The Beatles. I think that one, what was that, Kiss Again? I don't know. This is Journey, so we love the band tees over here. And then my favorite other section is the loungewear. We had some new bralettes from Colsey. I love that line at Target. I think I showed those shorts last time. Some new tie-dye prints. This kind of floral thing we have going on here, not sure what that is, but... I don't know if I love those colors. And then these shorts are like viral, so I would grab them if you see them, but they're so comfortable. They have that ribbed material. They're super comfy and go with any like graphic tee to wear as biker shorts, so I grabbed myself a pair. I did want to go over accessories real quick because they have some cute new bags for early fall, end of summer. The knotted ones right here. These are going to be super popular. I've seen some on Instagram already, just little mini bags. I've seen them from even people buying them off Amazon and stuff like that but super cute. I need to go back for one because I really, really like them. Here's just a little overview of the whole section. We got some cute headbands coming up, kind of in that same idea with the knots and stuff. I ended up buying a cute little thin one, but there is lots of cute hair accessories right now. I am loving all the trends. They have some really cute stuff at Target. Usually it's hit or miss, but this time it was definitely a hit. Check out this one too. That one is super fun. All right, I want to share what I purchased. I'll start with the makeup I got, and I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because I would love to do, like, testing new drugstore makeup, and I will eventually get a review of all this stuff probably combined together. But they always do a ton of drugstore launches at the beginning of the year and also the mid-year. So right now we're seeing all the mid-year summer launches. So e.l.f. has a new collection called the Electric Mood Collection. And this is for summer. It's also a collab with Tiana Major 9. So they came out with this palette. Now, I have to laugh. I just wanted to try it, but I do have to laugh because it kind of reminds me of how ColourPop did their electric collection where they had the really bright packaging and then they only had a couple actual bright colors and it was mostly a neutral palette. So that's kind of the same vibes it's giving me with this e.l.f. one, but I really liked their Retro Paradise line that they came out with last summer. So I was really curious in trying out this new one. So here is what it looks like up close as you can see the main pops of color are the purples the blues and the yellows in here but overall it's very much a neutral palette um, but I feel like I didn't see this one getting as much hate as color pops did let me go ahead and insert the swatches for you guys I'm really excited to try this out see what the formula is like I think elf shadows are pretty decent I typically like them for drugstore it's one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes besides color pop and then I only got one other thing from the collection that actually like really interested me and it was one of their hydrating balms I have one of these already and I really enjoy it so I wanted to try this one and this one's actually in collaboration with Tuvlo which I believe is like some sort of a singer. I know they have some sort of music. Um, so maybe they're collaborating with a bunch of people on this collection. But this is in the shade Sweet Talk. I do have this on right now. But I really like the formula of these. They are the ones with the little heart in the center. Which is really cute. But they don't offer a lot of color. So I feel like this one looks pretty similar to the one I already own. I probably really didn't need this. But I thought... Like, it would be nice. I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand, too. I had to really put on a lot of product to build up the color. So, it's just supposed to be a balm. But, yeah, I really feel like with this collection, you really only need, like, a couple things if you're buying these balms with the heart in the middle. Because it literally looks the same as my other one. Also picked up this new mascara. This is from e.l.f. as well. The Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. Decided I would go ahead and try this one. They came out with another one earlier this year called the Lash It Loud. Which was okay. But I wanted to give them another shot. I'm in desperate need of new mascara. So I figured I would grab their Big Mood one. It's supposed to be a dramatically volumizing, lengthening, and lifting which sounds amazing. I'll go ahead and give you guys a look at the brush. It's definitely a mega brush, so I could see some volume happening there. 
Hopefully it'll work better for me than the Lash It Loud did. I also picked up this new foundation from L'Oreal. This is their True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. They did have this at the Target I went to. I did see this at Ulta as well, but it's actually cheaper at Target. It seemed like a nice product. I've been wearing a lot of just like skin tints lately with some concealer for summer. It's just nice and lightweight, some natural makeup and not so heavy for every day. In the winter and fall, I'm probably going to go back to my coverage though but I mean sometimes it is nice just to have something very lightweight and skin like and I do actually have this one on today I wanted to quickly test it out so far I really like how it looks on first impression I think it is really pretty it's not too glowy which is good I hate the super glowy skin tints even though this is described as like a very hydrating one I picked out the shade number two to three it says light pale and it gives me just a little bit of a tint. It's very lightweight on the skin. And yeah, I'm not really feeling it. It literally, it's not sticky whatsoever. It's just very skin-like. Um, so I have really high hopes for this one. I think it's going to be really good. Definitely prefer this over their other skin tint they came out with this year. I'll see if I can find it. The Skin Paradise. I didn't really care for this one as much. This one's just way more lightweight. I feel like this has better skincare ingredients in it as well. A little bit on the pricey side, but I feel like L'Oreal makes some really good foundation. So I did grab that. And then Wet n Wild also launched a bunch of new makeup as well at Target so far is where I've seen it. And there's only a few in the display, so I would run over there if you're wanting it. But they also just launched online today, and I think there's a a coupon um, if you spend like $20 on beauty you get like $5 back something like that I'll see if I can find it but yeah they just put these online I don't really know what the collection is actually called but everything is kind of like fruit or snack food themed but this one is the be mine honey which totally reminded me of the ColourPop uh -huh honey palette which I love so I figured I would go ahead and try this and see what the formula is like wet and wild can be very hit or miss with their eyeshadow so I am just really curious about this one, but I think it looks so, so cute. So I had to get this one, and I'll insert the swatches here for you guys so you can see it. Touching the shadows, honestly, they feel really nice. Now, the shimmers might have a little chunk to them. At least some of them do, not every shade. Like this one is a little chunky feeling, but I feel like it kind of melts on the skin okay. So I don't know. They seem pretty promising. I also grabbed just one of the primers, so I grabbed the Honey one. There's a primer in each collection, but I definitely didn't need all of it. But I figured I would try the Be Mine Honey Primer Serum from them. I kind of want to see if this is scented, but it has this light shine to it. Oh, it is scented like honey. The highlighter in that collection was super cute, but I think it's going to be too dark for me, so... I passed on it because it looks really gold, but the packaging was adorable. Next, I had to buy this palette. This one is probably the one that's going to sell out the fastest because it's a beautiful neutral palette. It's called In Love with Coco. Like, how cute. This one looks like it has more, like, taupes, more, a little more cool tone. But overall, it looks honestly stunning, and I cannot wait to try out this formula on. So I'll definitely have to do a video but how pretty is that love and I did pick up the duo in this like collection because it had like a bronzer and a highlight in here the in love with Coco face palette that is what it looks like I'll go ahead and swatch the highlighter wet n wild always has really good highlights and the bronzer I think this is the only one that had a bronzer but it looks like pretty colors and then from the cherry collection, I only got the blush. I did not get the palette just because I literally just got the ColourPop Cherry Palette in PR. But I loved that this had two different blush colors in it. So that's the My Cherry Amore. Oh, I didn't realize these are scented too. Wait, now I have to smell them all. Oh my gosh, they all smell like what they say. That's awesome. I didn't know if the eyeshadow palette does. I think it does. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love stuff that smells good. Anyways, here is the two blushes in here. Oh, these are so soft. Beautiful formula, beautiful pigmentation. Wow. Must have, honestly. That's so pigmented. So those are the new Wet n Wild goodies. I might have to like, I don't know if I should do a dedicated video if I'll have time for that. Or I'll just have to do it in like a trying new drugstore makeup. But just so far on swatching... 
it honestly looks pretty good. So let me go ahead and get into the clothing items I purchased. First is this shirt I have on. Let me scoot back a little bit. I'm gonna share a clip wearing it too, but I thought this was really cute just for transitioning into fall. I could still wear it for summer since it is a tank, but it's this really cute roughly strap. And then um, it has the stretchy band here. I feel like these tops are pretty popular and it kind of has like it's flowy in the waist, so I think this one is really cute. It fits true to size, so I did grab this like mustard floral for late summer, early fall. I also love Target's graphic t-shirt, so I did grab a new one, and I grabbed the Aerosmith one because I love how this looks. Now, I don't really listen to Aerosmith, but this is cute. Like, it has the leopard in the background and everything. I love the comfort of this graphic tee. I did grab the XL, so it's a little bit oversized, but definitely really cute this one I feel like is older I think I saw this the last target video I made which was a couple months back so I'll see if I can find it I may not be able to these shorts are such a hot item right now they just popped up in stores from the brand Colsey and they're like this super stretchy would you call this like a ribbed material they have it in leggings as well there's a few different colors so i grabbed these gray ones in a size large they are so comfy they're like they have a nice compression so they really hold you in and i've seen pretty much everyone on instagram talking about them so i feel like these are going to be a hot seller and in stores i feel like they're going to go fast they had a beautiful color like a rust color i think as well which i showed in my video but i just grabbed the gray ones super cute. I did get a couple of dresses. They have some really cute ones. So I grabbed this floral one. This is also from Wild Fable. I love the colors in this one because it reminds me of fall colors but still a summery dress since it's hot out and I just I've been wearing dresses like crazy for summer dresses and t-shirts is like all I wear and it seems really flowy. It does have some like open spots in the back. I grabbed an XL in this one just to have room. I like the Wild Fable dresses, but sometimes the straps can be a little like cheaply made and they can kind of rip the seams easily. Hopefully it's fine. This one was $25. I also grabbed that same style in this color, which is like this peachy color. Definitely reminds me of transitioning into fall time. You can wear fall or summer if I can get this to look right. <laughs> there we go. I have a try-ons of this as well, but I also grabbed that one. And then I saw this tank top as well, which is really similar to what I have on, but I like this one a lot. Again, for fall, it's super cute. It's like a checkered, um, beige and black top just love this print for fall it reminds me of like burberry or just very 90s i grabbed a large in this one this one isn't as stretchy so hopefully it fits okay it has the stretchy back but this one i'm wearing stretches all the way around so we will see and this one for some reason it didn't have a tag on it i think they he had to look it up it's by this new brand there called who what wear so I have never seen that brand before, but my Target had it. And then the last thing I picked up, I was going to get one of the cute purses they had. I decided not to, but they had some really cute ones for fall, like the little mini bags with the knot in them. Oh, adorable. But I did grab some headbands. I really liked these. They're like a thin satin material. I feel like the thick headbands with the knot were really popular last year, but now I feel like these thin ones are going to be very in style. I don't know. They just always remind me of like Blair Waldorf, Gossip Girl, which I saw that Gossip Girl is back or they have a whole new um, cast and everything. I need to like see what's up, see what it's all about because um, I used to love Gossip Girl. Anyways, these are $5 from A New Day and there's like a brown and a tan one. I could just see myself wearing these a lot um, in fall just, you know, with my hair curled and stuff. I think it'll be really cute. I'm going to try to accessorize a little bit more. I'm so bad. I never wear jewelry. I never do hair accessories besides scrunchies. So I would like to dress up a little bit more. And I think those will be really fun. So that is it for this fun Target haul featuring some new drugs or makeup and some really cute clothes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Again, everything is linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.